Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm here with my Bugs 2W. This is turning into one of my favorite quads, man. This is like top three. Love this thing, man. It's got GPS, long range, you name it. It's, it's kind of like my go-to quad right now. If I just want to grab a quad and go, this is generally what I pick up. Um, you guys may have seen, I did a little power switch mod on this thing a little while back. Maybe about two weeks after I got it because, you know, taking that battery out was kind of annoying. It just slides, it just slides out. It won't even stay in. You know what I'm saying? It's not even like it sits there tight. So I just decided to put a switch on it and I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, now I'm deciding, hey, you know, the, the FPV thing on this thing is not that great. I mean, it, it looks pretty good up until about maybe 300 meters then you know kind of cuts out so it's not a 5.8 gigahertz which i wish it was but that's what i'm gonna do to it i'm gonna mod this thing man all right did that to my bugs three mini put the camera right there also got a power switch on the bottom that turns the camera on and off and let's change the uh the headlight on this thing too and must say my favorite quad of all, my Bugs 3. I did that to it too. I put an FPV camera on the inside, TX03 on the inside of that thing. And I also have a power switch to turn this quad on and off. And also this, this damping bracket here, you know, to get rid of all that jello. See, I got the Firefly Q6 on this thing and I switched out the headlight. So, none of my quads are beyond getting modded to the max, man. None of them. So, I am going to put this camera inside this Bugs 2W. Alright, I've planted, you know, a couple of uh, mini FPV cams on top before, which is cool. But you know me, I like to make my, my stuff look stock, man. I want to put it inside this thing, and I want to put a switch to turn it on and off. All right, so what I got here is the VTX03. You guys may have seen my review on that. This thing, it goes up to 200 milliwatts. All right, so I should get some decent FPV range with this thing. And this antenna goes here or whichever way you want to put it. You could just pop it on, pop it off, and just switch it up depending on what angle you want to put this thing. All right, so that's my plan, guys. So I'm gonna take this thing apart. And, oh, sorry, this is, um, I already showed you this camera. It's from the AKK A5, it's a 600 milliwatt. So, I mean, it's not a 1,800 or nothing, but it's all I got, and it should be pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna take this thing apart. All right, and hope for the best. <laughs> you know, I love this quad, man, you know? I, you know, but, you know, I do, you know, love doing FPV, especially it's got GPS, you don't have to worry about anything, you know, when I'm flying over water, I can just chill, turn this camera on, actually, I want this camera to be operating also, so I don't want to just have this camera in there, I want to put this with this and have them both work, alright, so that's my plan, so I'm going to take this thing apart and show you guys the guts of this bad boy, alright? Sit tight. Well, so far, I got the props off and these landing gears. Got a whole bunch more screws to go. So far, eight screws. <laughs> all right. All right, so I took all the screws out, guys. So there's about 24 screws. Yeah, the whole bunch of screws here, and there's three different sizes. So if you guys are gonna do something like this, make sure you keep them in order, all right? Because they look similar, but they're slightly different in size. All right, so let's slowly take this top off here. Okay, there we go. It's connected by one of them is a GPS and the other one is the I'm not sure what that is. You guys can see that? This one's the GPS. Yep, yeah, they're both connected to the top. 
All right, so let me carefully unplug this without destroying anything. Okay. Last thing I want to do is break this, man, and I'm going to have a big problem. Okay, so that's one. And take this one off. Come on. Here we go. Ah, almost. Okay, that's it. This is the top. Okay. So here it is, guys. Here's the inside of the box 2W. Now I gotta decide where am I gonna put this camera and how I'm gonna mount it. Now the real work begins. <laughs> A closer look at the bugs. I'm outside on my porch with better lighting. That's the inside of the bugs too, man. <laughs> 